All right, guys. Welcome in. Welcome back. We about to get banded. Yes, Lord, I just said it. We about to band up. It's a band of us. All right, let's get started. Without further ado, get your bands going. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get live with you. I'm going to get some 3D going until you get close. All right, so we're going to start off with our curls. We have two added moves today. We have our front and our back lunge. And then we have our um, lateral fly that we're going to be standing back here to achieve. Right here, I want our hands behind our back and we're doing that. All right. So for that's all that, those back muscles. All right. So three add-ons today. Let's see if we can't get two in the books. Let's go. I'm going to go no stagger today. Try to do everything with feet together. Be a tough guy today. Ready? Let's go. Give me 20 up. 20. 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Ooh. My tiger paw on my shirt. bandage. All right. Next we have our overhead press. Let's try to do everything in 20 today until we get to our second and third set. We got fresh arms. They're a little warm. Let's try to use that to our advantage. All right. And if you get tired, you can go from full range, which means the elbows come all the way down just to where the elbows are at the, at the shoulder. Your choice. If you want to do 10 and 10, if you want to break in between, um, I mean, you want to do them, we're going consistent, but if you want to go in between one of those, one of these, one of those, one of these, I don't care, just as long as you get your 20 in. All right? You might even see me as I fatigue switch up. All right? Let's go. Up. 20. On the books. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. A little slack. I'm a little bit off, so I need a little bit of slack on that one. Make it nope too tight. That's it. I'll start at we yeah, I'll start again. 20. Ah, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, I'm... All right, next. It's not, oh God, I want that back, that right side to let go so bad. I got to roll out tonight, two days of painting. Got that back tight, real tight. All right, now let's go into our um, next one is going to be our fly. All right, with this adding on to our, um, our, our, our extensions today, this is going to burn. Well, by the time we get to our stitches, because they're so similar, remember, turn those, turn those handles in, right? And we're going to swoop from the bottom and click. Remember? Arms out. Bring them together. One, two, three. Stay at the chest because we got 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give me 10 again. Nine, ah, eight, seven, six, five, four, ah, three. Two, one. Hmm. Those are mean. All right. Now, bring that one inside, right? Bring one inside of the other, right? Drop one down. Come away for your single arm flies. 
all right? Two of these, these exercises are similar, but when we're doing it back like this, we're gonna hit a lot more of the um, back traps and lats as opposed to this one's hitting, um, I mean, deltoids, tra uh, traps and delts, this is hitting lats, all right? Ready? Line yourself up nice and straight, arm out, and let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ah, 1. If you couldn't see my arm, that's a good thing for the simple fact is that means that my arm was in complete alignment. All right? If you see my arm over here or over there, I wasn't in line. Right? So my arm is up like this, coming like that, in line with my body. All right? Ready? Let's go. If you see my arm here or there, I'm out of line. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, seven, eight, ah, nine, ten. Now we're getting ready for the new stuff, the add on. You guys ready for this? First one is a front lunge. And then the second one is a back lunge with a curl. So because we're doing that, I'm gonna do both with a curl. How about that? Front and back with a curl. Now we're starting to get into those legs, all right? And what the thing is, is that the power is going to be in that back leg and really use that back leg to balance you out for the simple fact is the band is gonna be trying to pull you back. If you have your power in your front leg, you're gonna end up on your, you know, flying back towards the window, all right? So put all that power in the rear and let's go. Back leg, one, two, three, four, ow, five, told you about that, six, knee, seven, eight, nine, and 10. No temple strength in that left knee. We stopped working on it, what, a year ago? And it's gone again. We were barely getting it up. And it's gone. I'm just, I'm paying for it. I got to start riding my bike more. I can feel it when I go up steps again. Not okay. All right, back lunge with a curl. Or you can do this back lunge with a row. All right? Let's do this back lunge with a row. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Somebody's going to be doing leg exercises. Oh, man. I got my quads tingling, that little bit of... Interaction, what is that, 60 pounds? Say 30 plus your body weight, but resistance-wise, wow. It's only 30 pounds, not 60, I'm sorry. All right, last but not least is the fly, our reverse arm raise, or back arm raise. I love this one because of what it does for the body, and it's fun. You ready? Arms out behind you. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, give me 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, ah, 3, ah, 2, 1. Hydrate. Those are mean, but that'll get your chest from being here 
to here. It pulls your back back. It gives you that, that linear. And all of us want perfect posture without having to strive for it. So it takes us here. I pretty already have pretty good posture. What it's going to do is going to bring me here without pulling my arms back. My arms will stay forward. My chest will go here. Look at the arch to my back. And that's why we have to develop the glutes as well so we don't look like we're doing this, so that we look even. So what will happen is we'll be more here. All right? That's why we have to stay balanced with this. That's why we start to incorporate that. Whoo! I like it. I like it a lot. Now let's go through it again and see how we feel. Let's try to do this one with a flow at the most a 10 second recovery and that's it. We ready? Whew. Nice flow on this one. You ready? Let's crank. And 20 on the curl. Let's get it. Whew. One. I'm gonna do a few of them. Two different styles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Check it out. 10, watch this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo, 10, nine, that burn. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's gonna have to burn again because I wanna drop down to some leg action just that quick. Mixing it up. Ready? I'm scared of this left leg. It's really not doing its job. One, two, see? I can feel that, three. Still gonna go for it. Four, five, six. And that's not an injury, that's weakness. Seven, eight, nine, 10. That's that knee being weak. So I'm not worried about injuring myself. I'm worried about myself being injured because of me being not strong enough to hold myself in certain instances. And that's the quad. I'm always preaching how we need to stretch it, but we haven't been working it, building it. All right, now let's go for the fly. That's 10 seconds. Let's go for the overhead press, I'm sorry. Bringing it up. And I'm gonna do two different styles and I'm gonna try to stay with the 20. I'm gonna go for full extension and then I'm gonna bring it here. Ready? Let's go. And 10. Now isolate nine. Two to the hardest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Check it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Elbows in. Four, ah, three. Two, one. Ah. Burner. Because that doesn't involve the shoulders at all. I was just isolation of the triceps and a little bit of the scapular muscle and the delt. I'm gonna go for now burning those shoulders up because we're gonna do two exercises without them. Actually three. All right, so I'm gonna go for the biggest burner and I'll go back to the behind, all right? I'm gonna mix it up with 10. Ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Those burn. All right, I got my fly next. That's 10. Turn those weights up. I'm gonna turn those handles up. Ready? Let's go. 10, nine, eight, squeeze. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Two shoulders back to back. That burns. Straighten those handles out, spin it around. We got another 10 on the back lunge with a, with a row. Getting those triceps back in the game. See, giving those certain up muscles a break and hitting other muscles. So it looks like I'm working tri shoulders, but I'm not. I'm just working my tricep and my quad and my hamstring. 
Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What did I step on? I need to do those one legged. All right. Last but not least, the single arm fly. Dropping that weight in between, like I showed you guys. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Very nice. Other side. Keep it lined up. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo wee. That's how we bring it in, guys. Starting to get a little bit more consistent now. The flow, the body is starting to almost get to, almost to plateau, which I love. I love right before plateau because you know what that means. Switch it up and add more. Yeah, baby. I say we got about another week before we fully plateau by week. We're doing uh, segment two of bands before we get into full body. It's full body, we're gonna really press. So. Good job, guys. Got me huffing and puffing over here with a few added ones in the, in the only 10-second recovery. So I see you guys in a few. Until then, do what I do. All right, guys. Long signing out.